Do you ever see a boat tour and they're looking at the galley and you wonder how much is space is there really? Today, we're gonna to go in depth into the Juno 1295 galley. We're gonna look at all the space, where the storage is on, on board. And then we're gonna take everything from the galley on our 1095 and we're gonna put it on the 1295 and see how much space it takes up and what other options there are for storage. So we're gonna look in depth into this galley and then we're gonna see what storage is really like uh, on board. I'm Dave a former 100-ton U.S. Coast Guard license holder and a proud owner of a Juno 1095. I'm real familiar with that boat. We're looking at this 1295 Lucy and Dunbar Yachts. It's kind enough to let us on board. This is Echo Zulu Cruising, where we help people find a boat they love and love the boat they find. <laughs> This is the heart of the Juno 1295. This galley really epitomizes that option of living and the indoor outdoor options that you, that you have on this boat, it really brings it to life. The galley is the full width of the salon. It has a prep area, the, the fridge storage on one side. It has a sink. It has storage cooking uh, on the other. So you really have the, the, the full uh, beam of the salon to, to maximize storage and, and it's two people can be uh, cooking and prepping in this space the way on our 1095 it's just really a one person space for working someone could be working on uh, at the salon and it has this great option to be able to bring the outdoors in with the salon doors open, you have this, this space that, that connects the, 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 the galley with the outdoors. You've got this, um, this table that extends outdoors. You're able to, to kind of have this free access in and out and really bring the outdoors in on board when, when you're entertaining. So it has this really nice feel of indoor outdoor access, but a really nice galley. It, it has a galley that gives you plenty of space uh, and plenty of storage. Uh, on board. It takes some of those outdoor entertaining elements that you find on the DB37 or the, the Cap Camerot 10.5, uh, liter 10.5, where you have that outdoor entertaining area with the, with the doors all the way open and you have the, the, the really the air conditioning and, and the protection from the elements that we love on our 1095. So when we start looking at this, you start looking at the counters. The counters are the, that uh, Corian, the manufactured quartz. It's it's really hard. It's a it's a good hard solid surface. When we look at the area for cooking, we've got this nice cooktop, uh, as well as down below we have an oven that's a convection oven. So unlike our boat, you can actually bake on it, and it's a larger uh, oven. We often use our microwave for storage on the 1095 here. It's a really functional uh, cooking area. And then down below that, uh, you, below the stove, you have a cutlery drawer and below the oven, you have another storage drawer. So right around the cooking area, you have space for utensils and a, a lot of storage there. Stainless steel two bowl sink as opposed to one bowl. So really versatile in terms of being able to do dishes and, and, and handle that. And then down below, we have some, some nice storage and we have a small trash can that, and, and another small shelf for cleaning supplies underneath uh, the sink. In the back corner, we have this L large storage area. You know, you could use it as a cooler. You could put ice in there. It's it's pretty deep. It's about, it's almost two feet deep. It looks like no, two thirds of a meter. A, I would probably use that for dry goods and put bags straight into it. It's 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 deep, so there's there's a lot of place to store, but it, it's kind of in, in one spot. But it's using the space for your storage in the corner. And then we look up top. We have this, these nice cabinet spaces uh, uh, above um, the cooking area. So you really have, this is a very nice, you know, it, it, all your cooking supplies can be right around uh, your kitchen and down below you can have the foodstuffs. In addition to the storage that we have uh, around the stove and, and above, which really you could contain your, your cooking items and, and, and foodstuffs in this area, we've got a, a, a rack at the end that has space for some long utensils potentially. It's almost like a spice rack but it's it's interestingly versatile at the, at the top there is a, a, a narrow shelf I would put some bungees in there you could put olive oil or something in that but you'd have to bungee to hold it in this the four pockets below are, are actually full length and go back you can fit a bottle of wine in there it'll it, it'll slide in so that area you can fit longer utensils and you could fit uh, some some storage or bottles into that as well on the starboard side of the boat we have this whole additional uh, cabinet area 
We have two fridges, there's two drawers that, that can pull in and there's large storage in those refrigeration units and they're accessible, you can see everything in them. Each one of those is larger than the Dometic fridges that we have on our 1095. We have above two more cabinets. These would probably be utensils, is what I would do on board, is the utensils across from uh, the cooking area, so it's easy for someone to be setting the table um, and uh, getting getting that material out. On the starboard side, we also have the, the cabinet for wine storage, drink storage, and th there's plenty of space in here for several bottles, and there's space to ha hang some wine glasses. Obviously, I wouldn't have uh, any that are glass on board. Another feature on board, the 1295 and the galley, on both the port side uh, by the stove and on the starboard side uh, in, this, in this prep area, we have some blinds that you're able to raise up and down. They're, they're online, so they'll be hold, held under place when you're underway, and you can, can just shut those. So there's curtains around uh, most of the boat, but these blinds, you can open or close in the morning without having to pull, pull all your curtains out. So it's a nice, it's a nice feature to have those uh, in this galley area. So you have that indoor outdoor living. You can have the AC on inside, just open one of the doors and, and, and have the serving area. It's a really nice design feature that changes the galley from a, just a workspace to an entertaining space where we, you kind of bring the outdoor in or if the, the weather's wrong, you just close it on up and, and button it up or you open it all up and, and have the indoor outdoor if you're gonna let people on with bathing suits. In the comments, let us know the most in, important feature to you in a galley. What do you look for in a, in a boat galley? Or if you have a question about the 1295, ask us, we'll try and figure it out. It gives us more of an excuse to go look at other people's 1295. If you find the content helpful, subscribe, stick around. We're gonna be seeing how all of our galley gear from our 1095 fits on board the 1295. So we're gonna look at every nook and cranny and instead of just sticking a camera in, we're gonna stick all our gear in and see how, how it gets laid out. Final galley feature that sets the Genoa 1295 apart is the storage in the galley floor. We have just a small compartment on the 1095. It's really voluminous on the 1295. It, you can walk into it and it goes beam to beam, full beam uh, of the boat. And nicely there on the starboard side, there's some bins that are built in for spare parts. So you can have your storage for spare parts right on board. And there's plenty of storage down below for cushions. If you were going to provision for a longer trip, there's just voluminous space uh, below the galley that really sets this place apart. I, I look at that and think of on our 1095, how much we use one of the cabins for cushion storage. There's a lot of space here where you could be storing some of those cushions as well as provisioning for a longer trip. So really nice layout, but also the use of that space, access to the electronics panel, access uh, to the water system, and that spare part bin, really nice design, thoughtful design. Here's everything that lives on board our 1095. This is our galley equipment. This is not necessarily supplies, this is not provisioning for a trip. This is just what we keep on board our 1095. Let's see how it looks on board a 1295. The big reveal, everything fits from a 1095 galley to a 1295 galley. There's some features that are really stick out about the 1295 and one or two things that we actually prefer on the 1095. A key point of the cabinets on the 1295 is they're much higher than those on the 1295. So they're about the same depth but on the 1095, we can fit one of a six quart target bin uh, on each side. We can actually uh, stack them two on, uh, on top of each other, which is great for storing uh, on the port side. Kind of that the thought would be to put four of those on there so you could have spices, uh, you could have uh, provisions in those bins, keep them organized. Starboard side is where we put our bowls and our plates. Plenty of space in there. In fact, on one of the, the, the wine glasses that we have, there's some height there that could be used, uh, potentially using another bin or something else to increase the storage uh, above. The large drawer that is in between the galley and the salon, that fits all the cooking materials. Uh, that, that's where we stowed our pots and pans, the, the magma cookware system, uh, our, our blender. We put those in that drawer, really plenty of space there. Under the sink, uh, on the port side outside, you're able to put the cleaning supplies uh, ab above the trash can, keep those separate. In the other door, we have our plates and our coffee pot with a lot more space for storage for food supplies in, in this. So the cabinet has a lot of storage space left over uh, for food and supplies. In the drawer under 
the stove. It's a shallow drawer on the 1295. One really nice feature on the 1095 is how big and deep that drawer is. Everything that fits in the drawer on a 1095 does not fit in the two drawers on a 1295. So one place where that drawer on the, on the 1095, it's magical in terms of how much you can fit in there. We had to divide up several of the utensils between two drawers and some other storage spots. But everything's accessible. It's easy to get, to get at your, your cutlery for cooking. And in, on the side in the spice rack, we actually use some of the, the long handled um, utensils, we put them in those, those bins. You could put wine bottles in there, but you can also fit the utensils in there so that they're, they're stowed away. The lo lower drawer fits the items that we stow inside the microwave on the 1095. So on the 1095, we use the microwave for storage. We didn't use the oven here at all for storage. There's, there's space in that. So you have plenty of storage for provisions with all of your, your cooking supplies set away. Frankly, you wouldn't have more on board for cooking supplies than we have on, on our 1095s in terms of cups, glasses. We have a, a, about the same number that you, you'd use. So all that extra space goes to provisioning as opposed to needing um, more kitchen equipment. The galley on a Juno 1295 fly, everything from a 1095 fits and, and more. So there's plenty of space, really nice layout, great storage if you're going on a longer trip and for provisioning. We didn't even touch the, the wine cabinet with the gear that we have on board from the 1095. If you wanna know more about the 1095 galley, you can check this video here. If you want the full tour of the 1295, check it out here in the comments. Let us know if you have questions about the 1295, about the galley, and we'll try and figure out uh, the answers for you. Until next time, get smart, be safe, keep living the dream.